Hi, I'm Reen Wilcoxon with Embroidery Garden. Today, I'm going to show you how I designed this cute monogram using SVG files that I created in Dime's hot new cut and stitch software. You can get cut and stitch software at embroiderygarden.com. So let's get started. I've opened up cut and stitch software to create the monogram. First thing I'm going to do is go into the upper left, click on the big red T for text, and click in the design space. You can see it brought in the word text. Over in the right hand side, in the text box, I'm gonna highlight the word text and type in my capital L. Cut and Stitch software works uh, with true type fonts. Those are fonts that are built into your computer or fonts that you download or purchase and install into your fonts folder. So I'm gonna select the drop down menu and the style that I chose for the letter L is called Georgia. I'm going to click on it and you can see that it changed the style of the L. I'm going to change the size of the L. I'm going to go into the upper right and click the transform icon. I chose to make the width of the letter three inches and the height four inches. I am going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio before I enter the height because I want it to be three inches by four inches. I'm going to click apply and you can see it changed the size of my letter. I am going to go up to the ruler along the top, right click, then click center origin. What that does is it brings my letter into the center of the page. I like to work with everything centered. Now that I've created my L, I need to create the name. So I'm going to go back up into the upper left and click the text icon and click on the design space. You can see that it brought in the word text. I'm going to go back to the upper right into the text box, highlight the word text and type in the name I want, which is Laura. This time I'm going to choose the a uh, font that I have called Carolina Script from the drop down menu. When I click on it, you can see that it changes the font type. I do want to change the size, so I'm going to go back up to the transform icon in the upper right. And I wanted to make this be 4.25 inches wide by 2.25 inches high. Click apply. I'm going to change the color um, of the word Laura so you can see it better. And I'm going to go back up to the ruler along the top, right click and click center origin. That put the name Laura in the center of the page. Now you can move it around, change it however you want. Um, I'm just gonna make a few little adjustments to it that Basically, I find pleasing to me. Once you have everything set how you want it, I'm going to go ahead and click Laura and I'm going to copy it. I'm doing this basically so that I can show you what it's going to look like in the end easier. I'm going to select both the L and the name and I'm going to go up to the top of the screen and click the knockout icon. It opens up the offset window. What this is, is it's going to create a space where the letter L and the name Laura kind of overlap. It looks a little bit better, in my opinion, to have a little bit of open space there so the background fabric can show through. I usually pick um, the size to be 0 0.08. You can play around with this number and get it to where you want it to look. I'm gonna hit OK. And as you can see, it knocked out the areas where the letters overlapped. There's a little bit um, missing here, and I think there's a little bit missing there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select what's left of the letters and hit delete. So now this is the L. This is the L that I will cut out of my vinyl. Go ahead and select it. Go to the top menu bar, you see the icon that looks like a saw blade. It's the cutter. Go ahead and click it. This is how the L is going to look. I want to save it. And 
and I'm just going to call this L. Make sure that you have um, SVG chosen if that's what your cutter uses or there are other uh, file extensions for different types of cutters. Mine uses an SVG. I'm going to click Save. And what it did was on my desktop, it created a folder called L. And in it, it put my SVG file, the L, and it also created a PDF of that letter. I'm going to close that out. And now, remember, I copied my name, Laura. So now I'm going to paste it. And you get a real good look here of how um, it's going to look when it's done. I need the SVG file of the word Laura. So I'm going to click on the L. I'm going to delete it. Now I have my word that I will be cutting out. Go back up to the cutter again. Click it. It opens up the cutter window. I'm going to make sure that I save this. I'll call it Laura. You can see that I have it saved as an SVG file. Again, it creates an SVG file of Laura. It also creates a PDF. And that's as easy as it is. Remember those two files, if you're cutting them out of HTV, they need to be mirror imaged. Um, you could either do that before you uh, save them, or you could do that right on your machine. And that's how easy it is. One thing that I do want to show you, I did a different style. It's the same fonts, um, font styles that I uh, used for Laura. But on this one, I put the name Catherine. I rotated it 90 degrees and put it at the right edge of the letter. So this is just a different look. So there are many different things you can do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.